Yeah, Amazon Prime is removing Star Trek, so Sphinx sadly no longer has a job. I mean, it's elsewhere too, but it's just... The problem with Star Trek, like, DVDs is that there are, like, 700 episodes of Star Trek across all the shows. So it's nice to have it, like, conveniently in one place on a streaming service. And Amazon Prime made it good, because cause then you could have watch parties. It was fun. It's Paramount Plus's fault. That's cool. Well, Paramount... Paramount Plus is um, one of those just unnecessary things. And I hope when the streaming bubble collapses, it's one of the first ones to go. When people, like, kind of wake up a little bit, and they're like, Hey, why, why are we paying for this many... Why, why are we paying for all this shit? Someone said, I wish there was a streaming service mega bundle. I think that's called Plex. And, and just using your friends, like... Um... Plex. That's one way to do it. No, it's just turning into cable again, but more expensive to get everything you want to see. And then, like, they shift around, like, Seinfeld is on Netflix at the moment, but it was on Hulu. Soon it'll be on Zubu. And then after that, it'll, it'll be on Griebel Bizzlebox. And then it'll be on, um... Therm Scissor Punch. And then after that, it'll be on Boba Fett. And then Voodoo, and Glup Shitto, can't forget about Gremble Plus, and Glup Shitto Minus. And then, when everything- here's the thing though, there's one streaming service that all the shows go to to retire when they're done. It's called Who Do You Voodoo, bitch. And that one is basically like, that's it. After The Office goes to Netflix, then it-, it that's done. After that, if, it, if it, once it leaves Netflix, it goes to Who Do You Voodoo, bitch, then it goes. It goes off the internet forever. Like, like, people have the money to fucking buy eight streaming services. 